Hello students, today we will see the types of polarizations in the dielectric materials. So there are four types of polarizations. One is electronic polarization, ionic polarization, orientational polarization and space charge polarization. So here first we will see what is the electronic polarization. So electronic polarization will takes place in the atoms means whenever we apply the electric field onto the dielectric material the atoms will respond first. So here we will consider an atom so whose radius is R in the absence of electric field the positively charged nucleus is having the charge ZE and negatively charged electron is having the charge minus ZE. So first we will write the charge density of an atom. So the charge density is equal to charge by volume means the negative charge distribution along in the atom can be considered. So that is nothing but minus ZE by 4 third pi r cube as the atom is in spherical shape we can consider it as 4 third pi r cube. So rho can be written as minus 3 by 4 ZE by pi r cube. Now we whenever we apply the electric field onto this atom this positively charged nucleus moves in the direction of electric field and negatively charged nucleus moves in the opposite direction. So hence the charge separation will occur atom is converted into dipole. So though we have drawn a little bit bulgation in the atom but in, in reality the atom shape is in spherical shape but the negative charge distribution after the application of electric field changes in the radius x. Hence the atom is getting dipole and that dipole is having the dipole moment and the dipole moment is proportional to electric field and that dipole moment proportionality constant if you can remove this proportionality constant alpha e is known as electronic polarizability value. Now we have to find out this one okay and this dipole moment can be written as charge into distance and here the charge is minus ZE into x and we can also find out the distance between the uh, two charges for this purpose so first we can redraw this diagram so plus ZE positively charged nucleus minus ZE the charge separation is x and now we are applying the electric field because of the electric field whenever we apply the electric field onto the atom the force is acting onto the atom that force can be written as Lorentz force and Lorentz force F is equal to formula is E into Q. So here this Lorentz force F suffix L can be written as E into the force acting on the electrons we can consider minus ZE. So let it be equation 4. Okay. So because of this electric field the charge separation will be occurred hence Coulomb force comes into picture. And this Coulomb force we can written as Fc is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q positive positive charge and Q negative by the separation is nothing but X square. So here we can write Fc is equal to positive charge is plus ZE by 4 pi epsilon naught X square and we cannot write direct negative charge. So here we can write negative charge distribution negative charge distribution in the atom. So for this purpose what we have to do is to calculate this negative charge distribution we have to take the charge density into consideration. Okay so we know that the charge density rho is equal to Q by V. So here because of the application of electric field what happens is the radius of the atom is changed to X. Hence the charge density rho is equal to the negative charge is nothing but minus ZE by. So the volume of the atom now changes from 4 third pi r cube to 4 third pi x cube. So that implies the negative charge minus ZE value is equal to rho into 4 third pi into x cube. 
okay so here now we can we can uh, write this value instead of the negative charge distribution therefore the coulomb force fc is equal to z e by 4 pi epsilon naught x square into rho into 4 third pi x cube and from equation 1 we can write 4 pi epsilon naught x square so rho is nothing but minus 4 by 3 we can write here from this equation minus 3 by 4 z e by pi r cube minus 3 by 4 z e by pi r cube into 4 third pi x cube so this value we have written from equation 1 so now you can see here minus 3 by 3 by 4 4 by 3 get cancelled and here pi pi get cancelled and we left over with minus z square e square into x cube by 4 pi epsilon naught x square now x square here two times get cancelled and we got minus z square e square by 4 pi epsilon naught r cube also there into x so this is the coulomb force acting between the two charges let it be equation 5 now at equilibrium what happens is the Lorentz force will be equal to Coulombic attraction force because whenever you apply the electric field the Lorentz force is acting on to the atom because of this Lorentz force the atoms get separated Coulomb force comes into picture. So in equilibrium Lorentz force is equal to Coulomb force. So what is the Lorentz force we have derived? E into minus Z E. And what is the Coulomb force we have derived? Minus Z square E square by 4 pi epsilon naught square. Z square E square by 4 pi epsilon naught R cube into X. Okay. On both sides minus get cancelled and Z E one time get cancelled for implies X is equal to we got 4 pi epsilon naught R cube by Z E into so this is the distance between the two charges when the electric field is applied and from the equation 3 we have written the dipole moment mu is equal to z e into x okay so mu is equal to dipole moment we can write z e into 4 pi epsilon naught r cube by z e into now Z E Z E get cancelled and mu is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught r cube into E. Now if this equation is compared with mu is equal to alpha E into E then this 4 pi epsilon naught r cube can be considered as electronic polarizability. So this is the electronic polarizability expression which doesn't depends upon the temperature therefore electronic polarization can be written as p is equal to n into mu formula p is equal to n into alpha into e so p is equal to n e into 4 pi epsilon naught r cube so this is the electronic polarization expression and this is the electronic polarizability expression hope you understood this session